Okay, next video is starting. We're talking about Charlie and the I whole situation. Yeah. With Charlie. <laughs> yeah, no, pretty much. It's like, it's like. Forget about Renes. <laughs> yeah, no. Jacob goes to Charlie and he's like, hey, look what I can do. Starts taking his pants off. And he's like, um, okay, Jacob, I don't want to see that. But yeah, Charlie accepted things way, way. I'm sorry, but if too easily. Well, okay, that's the thing. Charlie didn't even know everything. He didn't know about right, really but if, like, the whole situation. He obviously, was able to tell that Renesmee was Edward and Bella's daughter. It yeah, was, it's like where did this kid so, come from? You know, if I was, if, why would that's your daughter, and then suddenly you have like in like less than a year, you have a seven-year-old granddaughter. I would want to know what's the hell, what the hell is going on. Well, yeah, and not to mention he was like flipping out uh, when she was gonna marry him or yeah. what he thought yeah. he was, because he's like, oh no, they're making the same mistakes we did, which I'm like, not really though. Yeah. Charlie was kind of like just nervous about being in the ceremony and losing no, his I Bella. No, I like way before that, yeah. like an eclipse and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. Just flipping out because, you know what? Well, see, yeah, that's the thing. He did accept it, I think, like, Ren Renee and Charlie both accepted that way too easily. They're like, yeah, like, they get married. Okay, see, they're like... see Renee, because Renee is sort of like... Yeah, oh, she's just sort of like, yeah, no, sure, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> About that though, I mean, I just, I don't know. Charlie so just why, like, why seriously Charlie though. Her kid after her mother when like her mother and no. her isn't even that close. Yeah, to her. see, I don't. Well, no, see, that's the that. thing. She was because well, she was raised basically by her mom. So did, did Renee make an appearance? Yes. In every single book. Um. No. Yeah. Well, she was she at was least brought up or talked like, to on the phone. Came. Yeah, I don't know. I just I think okay. Here's here's an idea. Well, I got a phone call. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> let's talk about what we did like. Okay. Okay. Not so good. yeah, <laughs> Jacob's book was the only Jacob's redeeming book was very good. part, like before the end. Yeah. Okay. But Jacob, I really liked the whole him splitting off from the other pack. That was cool. Yeah. That was cool. But it led up to something that didn't happen. Yeah. Which I'm like, oh, okay, so they're not gonna like have this whole pack fight. Yeah. It's not. Okay. <laughs> I mean, and I I don't know. It's just like. I like Seth. I want to hug him. Yeah, he's Seth is adorable. Crazy. He's like, he's pretty much like hanging out with Bella, and he's all chill with the vampires, mm -hmm. but. And, it still wasn't enough for me. I it mean, wasn't enough, it yeah. was it was easier to get through that part mm -hmm. of the book. I mean, yeah. the other parts I was just like, whatever. Okay, let's just get through this so I can get to the end. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know. Let's see what else. Did we okay. Leah, I obviously loved yeah, having Leah awesome. in the book awesome. because I I remember like when I was when we were waiting for the book to be released, we kept saying, you know, Stephanie always brings up a character. And they're small in the beginning, but there's little hints that mean that they're going to play a bigger part. Mm -hmm. And I always thought that that would be the case with Leah, and that she would end up with Jake. And I know a lot of people don't agree with that pairing, but I personally thought that after Breaking Dawn, in my <clears throat> mind, that's what should have happened. Yeah, and they sort of deserve each other. I mean, like... They both got like screwed over by people that they thought they loved. Yeah, and see, so imprinting, like, imprinting <gasps> screwed them over. Yeah. Because see that that's what really bugged me was Jake was saying, you know, cho like he even was having that conversation about choice as opposed to imprinting. And it just it seemed to cheapen the book for me yeah. for them to have that conversation and then Jacob to go and imprint on Renez. Yeah. And also since and then Leah dropped off the face of the earth, but I'm sure she has some pretty strong feelings about that whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Considering she can't do anything. She's like the only one. Yeah, see that's the thing. Okay, and with that, the whole Leah Leah can't have kids, therefore she can't imprint. Mm -hmm. Okay, she can't she has no chance of imprinting. Yeah, and if so if Stephanie does continue the story, then I will totally call her on that contradiction. Cause she flat out said that imprinting is supposed to be like, you know, they're s to make, like, a stronger, like, sh stronger, like, werewolves kind of thing. You know, like, I could understand how Jacob imprinting on this half-vampire thing would 
make it so that they could have stronger werewolves. But it doesn't, you know, in my mind, it doesn't make sense how they could even have kids. Yeah. But... No, I, I don't really get that. See, I, but no, and so that means that Leah, she really can't have kids. Mm -hmm. And I think that is, like, just... <laughs> that that's I really, really sad. Feel for that girl, man. I mean, yeah, it's, it's I'm really. What are we ranting okay. about? Leah not being oh, yeah. able to do anything. She can't have kids because she can't imprint because she can't have kids. And the whole imprinting process, like how we found out what that really meant, which was the whole you imprint to. So wolves can't bring babies to term. Yeah. I actually was not a Leah. I wasn't. I was kind of indifferent about Leah up until this book. Like Leah was there, and yeah, she had her moments. She had her good moments, her bad moments, but she was more like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. But I really liked her character development, so it just irritated me so much when in the third section she just vanished. Yeah. Yeah, and I know it would have been really interesting to get into whole, her whole like, I'm the only one left, and it sucks. <laughs> Yeah. Like, poor, yeah, I wanted to have Well, a Seth girl. still hasn't imprinted, but... See, that would have been cute. I would have yeah. been... Okay, even though I was had major problems with the Nessie thing, it would have been not... That would have been, yeah. It would have been okay. It would have been okay. I mean, I still wouldn't have liked it, but it it would have been okay if Seth imprinted. Yeah. And to, for it to be endless cookie cutter happy fairy tale. Yes. Yeah, I mean, Stephanie Come came on. right out, Stephanie the writer, came right out and said she likes happy endings, but I think oh. it was too happy. Way Everything too happy. It, it wasn't realistic. Her other books, yes. okay, yeah, they're vampire books, whatever, but they were realistic in my mind because I could see this stuff happening and people actually reacting like that. But Breaking Dawn, it wasn't realistic at all. There's a difference between a happy ending and then like a realistic happy ending. Like, yeah, okay, happy endings happen, la da 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 da, but for it to be so cookie cutter, mm -hmm. per everything works out perfectly, nothing bad will ever permanently happen to these people. No. <laughs> it's just, it's, <clears throat> you know, we, it, it's, it doesn't work like that outside of Disney Channel. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. But, um, I don't know. I think pretty much, I, I think our overall review of Breaking Dawn is it fails. Um, I it was and the fact, Twilight the fact. Twilight is a trilogy. Yeah, exactly. Twilight is a the trilogy. It's finished trilogy. My favorite one was the first one, and then sort of just. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I liked Eclipse and New Moon. I was okay with Twilight but was by far the Twilight superior. was and Twilight was incredible. Yeah, it really. Was. Yeah, it really is. And I really hope that Stephanie doesn't honestly think that they will bring Breaking Dawn into to the theater. Yeah, yes. I don't even think they'll go through the other ones. They can't. They're they can't. I don't know how you would make a movie out of Breaking Dawn because they're either having sex or talking. Or yeah, and it would be really boring. Uterus. Yeah, it would be really boring in my opinion, and. I don't well, know. I know. She said she wanted. Yeah, she wanted to make it into two oh, oh, films. They, I bet if Hollywood like just bought the rights and like just took the character name in movies like they do with so many oh, other yeah, movies uh -huh. and just like rewrite the whole story, they could actually make it better. It's true. Oh it's my true. god, we have hope. It's true. We have hope. <laughs> we have hope. <laughs> I'm sure they could, and it would be like, oh my god, this isn't anything like the book. You know what? Yes. We should take a screenwriting class and rewrite it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's okay. go. Okay, I'll be your agent. All yes. right. Yeah. Okay. We um, wrote Breaking Dawn, and we made it better. Yeah, and see, a lot of people are agreeing with Stephanie Meyer, like, her little thing, which was the fans hyped it up too much. Yes, and you know yeah. what? I, I actually talked to one of my friends about this, um, and I'm going to use this the next time I turn in a paper for school and it mm -hmm. and it gets a bad grade. Be like, what do you mean I got a bad grade? It, the reason you didn't like this paper is because you hyped it up. You went into this paper expecting it to be good, and that's why you didn't like it, so give me that A. Yeah, you should do that. And on that note, this is the end of our review of Breaking Dawn. <laughs>